All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me outside in the berry patch on uh, outside with Jeff. Just want to do a quick um, identification of your primo canes, which is your first year blackberry plant, uh, which will produce blackberries the following season, unless you have a, a primo cane uh, primo cane bearing variety, which most of them are not. Um, they're going to produce on the second year canes. So let's just go in for close up. You'll notice this cane right here. It's bright green. It's really soft. That's a primo cane. So when this cane reaches this top wire here, that's when I'll be topping it to produce the lateral growth. If we go on down, you'll see this cane is brown. That's a second year cane. And you'll notice that that cane is loaded up with berries. See all these berries on there? So the easiest way to identify your first and second year canes is, like on this plant here, your first year canes are gonna be nice and green and soft, whereas your second year canes, they're gonna be tough and woody. Can't really put my thumbnail into that. I'm pushing it pretty hard, it's not even making a dent. And that's your second year cane. Once you, uh, once these berries here have been picked, once they're ripened, fully ripened, and they're picked, this cane needs to be removed from the patch immediately. Um, and that's gonna leave room for your new canes to come in, and then you're gonna be able to trellis them as necessary. There's no reason after these berries have been picked to leave that cane in this patch. It has no purpose. It's not doing anything for the mother plant. By that time, the leaves will start to die off and it will not even be providing food for the root system. It'll only be taking up space where your new growth needs to be. So yeah, I'll be doing that on all these. If you wanna look, this bush here has two primocanes coming out on this side so far. The next one over, we got a primocane here. We got a primocane there. Next one over. Um, let's see, got one right here. They kind of blend in sometimes. I'll come over here. This is a new one that I transplanted last year. It has one coming in from this for this year so far. Next bush over, we got one here. Uh, there's, there's another small one on the bottom. Each bush you'll expect to get between two and five primocanes coming out. And I like to let them all, you know, grow up and do their thing once they top. This bush here has one there. Uh, looks like there's another one down there starting to come up. This bush here, one here. It's still early in the season, so there's plenty of time for more to come up. This bush here has one here. So you can see most of my bushes only have one to two right now. This is my, the biggest bush for this year. And it's harder to see them, but there, there's some in there popping up this bush here we got one here we got one here that we topped the other day come over we got another young bush this is only a second i planted this last fall uh, it's really small we'll let that guy get all the way up to the top here and we'll trellis it down or cane top it and trellis it to the wire we'll come through later on pull all these weeds out of here we'll just drop them right in the spot when i when i weed the blackberry patch i like to just drop them right there so it can act as ground cover here's a cane that didn't make it through the winter uh, most of the canes i would say blackberry survival rate over winter is over um 95 i just lost one cane out of all these bushes i probably have 40 canes coming up i only lost one so it's a really good survival rate. But yeah, I'm gonna cut this video here. I'll be producing a lot more videos on blackberries. And as you can see, these are just loaded up. I've probably got, just estimating, I'd probably say I have 10 gallons of blackberries out here easily. Especially if, uh, if when these are starting to swell up, if we get some good rain, that's really gonna help make those berries, you know, produce the maximum size, so. All right, that's all I got for today. Have a good one. Thanks for joining me in the garden.
Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below. See you later.